It's 2015 and this guy is working on a small hobby project aimed to improve the way web developers build interfaces. His plan is simple. Take all the amazing features Angular has to offer, but strip all the annoying, unnecessary complexity. Little did he know that 10 years later, he'd be the author of Vite, one of the most disruptive tools in web development, he'd lead a VC-backed company aimed to improve JavaScript development, and his small hobby project would end up going toe-to-toe -to -toe with frameworks backed by companies like Google and Facebook. Today, Vue is one of the most used front-end frameworks in the world, powering everything from indie apps to enterprise platforms. The recently released State of Vue.js report offers a comprehensive overview of the Vue ecosystem, so this is a really good time to see if Vue is a good fit for you in 2025. The report, created in collaboration with Evan Yu and the core teams behind Vue and Nuxt, is packed with insights. It covers everything from developer adoption trends to upcoming features and even dives into real-world case studies from companies like GitLab, Hack the Box and Doc Planner. But what really stands out is just how mature and stable the Vue ecosystem has become. Vue 2 officially reached end of life in 2023, clearing the path for Vue 3 to take center stage. Over the past year alone, we've seen performance boosts, developer experience improvements, and experimental features like Vapor Mode. Vapor Mode is probably the most ambitious change to Vue's internals since the release of Vue 3 itself. It's a complete rework of how components are rendered with a focus on raw performance. Under the hood, Vapor Mode introduces a refined reactivity system, inspired in part by the already established trend to handle reactivity via signals. Of course, the big challenge is compatibility. Replacing the core runtime of a framework without breaking existing apps is the kind of thing that keeps maintainers up at night. The Vue team knows this, which is why most of their effort is focused on making sure this new mode behaves consistently with the current system. But the recent updates don't end the Vapor Mode. Vue 3.4, affectionately nicknamed Slam Dunk, rewrote the template parser and brought a complete refactor of the reactivity internals, laying the groundwork for everything that followed. Then, Vue 3.5 pushed things even further with better SSR support, lazy hydration, and improved memory usage across the board. Vue Dev Tools also saw a major revamp with version 7, which is now focused entirely on Vue 3. It comes with improved performance, better component inspection, and clearer insights into your app's reactivity graph. In short, debugging large Vue apps just got a lot less painful. Nuxt also had a big year. The meta framework continues to evolve at a fast pace, proving that it's more than just a layer on top of Vue. Nuxt is becoming the default way to build production-grade Vue applications, and throughout 2024, it shipped multiple minor releases packed with valuable features like improved logging, better SSR tooling, route groups, and support for defining server-only or client-only pages. The Nuxt core team also laid the groundwork for Nuxt 4, which is now in testing. Most of its new features have already been backported into Nuxt 3, so you don't need to wait for the major version bump to take advantage of what's coming. What stands out is that Nuxt isn't chasing trends or flashy rewrites. Instead, it's focused on developer experience, stability, and a smooth upgrade path. This focus on the developer experience is probably why Vue enjoys one of the most loyal communities. After all, 93% of the respondents claim there is a high or very high probability of them using Vue.js for their next project. In a web dev world known for always following the latest trends, having such high retention numbers is no small feat. Of course, not everything is perfect. TypeScript support, while dramatically improved, still has some rough edges. Developers also want better official component libraries, stronger testing tools, and more guidance for building accessible apps. And there's still a noticeable gap when it comes to mobile development, something many respondents pointed out in the 2025 survey. But overall, Vue's trajectory is clear. It's stable, battle-tested, and modern. It has enough flexibility to fit a wide range of use cases, and just enough guardrails to keep you from accidentally burning everything down. It's not trying to reinvent front-end development every six months, and is just getting better at what it already does well. If you like this video, you might find some of these ones interesting as well. Until next time, thank you for watching.